Well, his, um, he's probably the least educated president we've ever had. It may be Andrew Johnson, but uh, if you add up all the schooling he had in his life, it's one year. He went, he went to five one-room schoolhouses, different ones, two in Kentucky, uh, three in Indiana, and the total time is, is one year. And he learned uh, to read and write, and he learned mathematics up to the level of cross-multiplication. And then everything else was self-education. Uh, when he was in his um, early 40s, he reads Euclid. You know, he goes through the first six books of Euclid. And he was so proud of that, he mentioned that in a campaign autobiography in 1860. You know, so that he was patting himself on the back for that. Uh, in those days, there were no law schools, but what most uh, young men who wanted to be lawyers did was they, uh, it was like an apprenticeship in the office of an established lawyer. It was called reading the law. And you, you had a job in a law office and you would be shown through the rudiments of it. Lincoln didn't do that. Uh, he did have an older friend who was a lawyer. He would uh, visit him occasionally to borrow books and ask questions, but he did it by reading himself. Now, you could do that in those days, but that was the hard way to go about it. I mean, something like Blackstone, you know, which is just a dense, dense book. And there, there's a story of Lincoln sitting on a wood pile in his 20s, and he's got his nose in a book, and someone in the, in the town in Illinois says, you know, what, what are you reading? And he says, I'm reading the law. And the guy says, great God almighty. You know, it was like, well, what is he doing? But, but this was his attitude to books, to learning. He... You know, he loved Shakespeare. He never read all of Shakespeare's plays. He only read certain ones. But what Lincoln did read, he read deeply. I mean, he just, he just focused on it. He bore down on it. So, and there were books that circulated in rural America. I mean, Weems was not the only itinerant bookseller. Uh, there were some people in the little towns in Illinois where he first moved who had had college education. Uh, there were people who knew their Shakespeare, knew their Robert Burns. Uh, everybody knew the Bible, King James Version, which, of course, among other things, is a great work of literature. So, uh, you know, this is a man who we now realize clearly had a literary gift and an intellectual gift, but he also had a powerful desire to use them. So whatever he could get, he just, you know, he just grabbed onto it. 